How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be talking about Deathless Champions, specifically Deathless Guillotine and how to acquire her. They released all the rest of the requirements, give us a heads up on how to get this champion. They did go over a couple of important details, um, like 7 star Deathless Champions are late game collections um and uh they're not going to be for like battlegrounds and stuff that's not what they're geared towards um their kits are going to be somewhat um updated for the champions that they are uh, based on but they're not going to be crazy and they're more for uh, questing and they also said six star versions of these champions really a lot easier to acquire and they gave us some details on that but what you were probably here for is this the seven star guillotine pieces uh, and how you're going to get them. We already know about three of them. So obviously we were given uh, the handle and the in-game message. Uh, the tip of the blade was in Battleground Season 12 for completing the victory track uh, this season. Uh, the soul is going to be in Necropolis. We know that. And then the body of the blade is going to be a challenge objective coming up. Uh, and then the cross guard is a banquet milestone. So what that means is we're going to be getting seven star deathless uh, guillotine by December. By the December, December event, we will have that champion in our hands, which is really cool. Um, the challenge objective, uh, John here mentioned that it would probably be, um, I mean, he, he said something along the lines of like, it's similar to Karina's challenge in, in some way. So it might be like, go through a necropolis with X champions. I don't know. I hope not. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just brainstorming. There was no, they didn't say anything about it. Uh, except that so uh, a challenge coming up and then the banquet milestone they did say to calm down it's not going to be the, the highest milestone it's going to be just a pretty free to play obtainable milestone um, so you know there's a lot to save up for you know you gotta do you gotta do the necropolis you gotta do the banquet whatever this challenge is you know all that stuff so um, it's 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 coming together I'm excited to finally get the seven star champion uh and yeah so anyways they did i think uh, they did say that if you didn't miss a piece of one of these champions um specifically deathless guillotine there will be a catch-up method but it will be uh, it will cost a lot of units to catch up so basically if you missed a piece then you will be able to get the piece again um, eventually through units and then um they said this is where they described that um, they're just exclusive champions. They're they're tuned for uh, questing, and uh, you know you might see them in battlegrounds, but that, that's not their purpose. So, just something that they went over. And then they went to the Necropolis rewards, which we already have a video on. And uh, yeah, so let me know if you are excited about this. It's a pretty quick video, but I just wanted to let everyone know how um, or what to expect. For those interested in the seven star guillotine i'm really into exclusive champions that's why i really want to 100 necropolis get the exclusive seven star maestro and then this champion i really want as well it's just be cool and having exclusive champions is cool that's why i always love trophy champions like uh thanos and kang um and um not so much jessica jones i don't know why but just i don't know but or in wolverine weapon x i think just exclusive champions are cool they make your account look unique and yeah, so anyways, that's it for this video. It's a pretty quick one. And I hope you uh, got some good information. So anyways, I'll see you in the next one.